In today's lesson, we will be writing two-step equations from story problems and then solving them. Here are the three steps that we always need to do when we have story problems and we're going to write equations. You always have to define your variable. So maybe you pick a variable x and say that it equals cost. This depends on the story problem. Um, you write an equation. Maybe you have 5x plus 10 equals 20. And then you always have to solve the equation. So x equals 2. Define the variable, write the equation, solve the equation. Here's the first question. It says that you buy three books that each cost the same amount and a magazine. So three books and one magazine. And it all cost $55.99. You know that the magazine cost $1.99. And then the question is, how much does each book cost? So first, let's define a variable. And defining the variable always comes from our question. So I chose variable x that represents the cost of each book. That's what we want to solve for. We're buying three books in one magazine. We know the price of the magazine, but have to solve for the books. One keyword that helps is looking for each. That often represents a variable, because they're saying three books that each cost the same. So if I have three books, I want to multiply by however much each book costs. And then I'm adding how much the magazine costs, which is a dollar. 99. So three books plus one magazine is equal to how much I paid total, 55.99. Now I have to solve this equation to find the cost of each book. So to solve, I have to first subtract a dollar 99 on both sides. And on the left side, we have a 3x left over. And then $55.99 minus $199 is exactly $54. And now we have to divide by 3. So x equals 18. But let's think about what we just solved for. Cost of each book. So that is $18 per book. And you can go back and check to see if this makes sense by plugging it into your equation. Is 3 times 18 plus the magazine, which is $1.99, equal to $55.99? And it should work. So let's check. We defined a variable, wrote an equation, and solved it. Okay, the next question says, a personal trainer buys a weight bench for $500. So one weight bench, it's $500, and W weights. So they're giving us the variable W weights for $24.99 each. So there's that word each again, $24.99 per weight. So the total cost of the purchase is $849.86. How many weights were purchased? So there's our question, so that also goes back to this variable that they gave us. W is equal to the amount of weights purchased. Now to write the equation, we want to add up everything that we're buying to equal the total, 849.86. And let's see, there's a one-time buy and then we're buying multiple things. So the one time buy is the weight bench, $500 for the weight bench, plus we're buying $24.99, but that's per weight. So we're multiplying by the number of weights, and that will give us our total, which is 
86. So now we want to solve for the amount of weights we would buy to get the total. So to solve, we first want to get rid of this 500, so let's subtract 500 on both sides. And we are left with 24, 99, W on the left, and then that's equal to 349, $349.86. And now next step, divide both sides by the 2499. And you should get that W equals 14, and we're solving for the number of weights. And then you can always plug this back in and check. $500 plus 24 times 14 should give you $849.86. Define the variable, wrote the equation, and solved it. Okay, this one says that the current temperature is 54 degrees Fahrenheit, but it is expected to rise 2.5 degrees each hour. So there's that word each again. And how many hours will the temperature be 84 degrees? So let's look at the question in how many hours? So that's what we want to solve for. So let's say that H equals hours. And to write our equation, it starts at 54 degrees, but it is rising, so it's adding 2.5 degrees each hour. And we want to know when this will be equal to 84. So there's our equation, and now we just have to solve it. And we can start by subtracting 54 on both sides. And you get 2.5h left over on the left, and then 84 minus 54 is 30. And now we just have to divide both sides by 2.5. And h equals 12, and what did we solve for? We solved for hours. In 12 hours, if the temperature rises 2.5 degrees every hour, we will get to 84 degrees. Okay, the last question. It says the cost for a certain music plan is $9.99 per year plus 25 cents per song. If you paid $113.74 in one year, find the number of songs you downloaded. So I want you to pause the video and see if you can do the full setup and solve for this story problem and then check your answer when you're done. You should get 415 songs. That's a lot of music for one year. But check that you defined the variable, wrote the equation, and solved it. So that's the main idea for this lesson for writing and solving two-step equations. So good luck!